Hi all, welcome to Homeschooling with Hera. Hope everyone is well. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the English spelling rule number one, the revised version of this rule. You might have seen this video previously on my YouTube channel. This is one of the very first videos of my YouTube channel. So I just thought to uh, revise it to present it in a better way. Obviously, you improve over time. So I think I'm a little improved now. So let's just do this video once again. And if you are the one who is interested to watch this video in Urdu or Hindi, please check the description box. The link to the Urdu Hindi version of this video is in the description box. Agar aap is video ko Urdu ya Hindi mein dekhna chahte hain, to please description box pe jayein. Wahan pe aapko link mil jayega. Click that and also subscribe my Urdu Hindi channel. So come on, without any further ado, let's dive in. So come on, let's begin with the English spelling rule number one. Okay, let me mention one thing that this is not the listing from any website or from any book. It is just the way I started making videos. So I have list this rule number one. Otherwise, you will not find it anywhere else as rule number one of English, right? So what does the rule say? It says English words do not end in I, U, V, and J. These four letters. What does it mean? It means that we have the sounds of these letters at the end of English words. We may have, we do have the sounds of these letters at the end of English words. However, we don't have them written at the end of English words. Right? Let's see some examples in which you will get a better idea of what I'm saying. You can have a screenshot of this so you can save it and copy it down later. Let's move forward. So here are a few examples in which you have I, U, V and J sounds at the end of English words. But let's see that how we are going to write these words. You will see that none of them will end at I, U, V and J, right? If the word is die, the pronunciation is fine, but we do not write die like this. What do we do? We put a silent final E at the end of the word because English words do not end in I. Similarly, lie, pie, tie. These are a few words that are ending in I sound. But to protect I to be at the end of English words, we need to put a silent final E here. Now this word is high and this is thigh. So how do you write these words? We add GH at the end of the word and now it becomes a three letter phonogram that is IGH. So if you are hearing I sound at the end of English words, either you will protect it with a silent final E or you will write this spelling I high. Okay, English words don't end in I. Now U, blue, U has two sounds, U and U. So in this word we have blue, U sound, blue, Dew, blue, glue, dew. So how would we make these spellings correct? By adding a silent final E. Why so? Because English words don't end in U. Now we have few and new. Few and new also have the U sound at the end, but look how we have written them. It's with EWU. EW can also make the long U and U sound. So if you are not ending it with E, you can end the word with the alternative U spelling. If you want to learn these alternative spellings of all the vowels, check the link in the description box. The third letter is V. English words don't end in V. The spelling is correct. O, E, V, live, A, V, have, believe, leave, conceive. So all of these words are ending at the V sound, letter V. However, the rule says that English words don't end in V. So we need to put a silent final E at the end. Here you are. The last letter sound is J. English words don't end in J. So the word is judge, bridge, charge, manage, change. J, 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 J. You heard the sound, right? So how we are writing? We are using some alternative spellings to write the j sound of letter J. After a single short vowel, we use a trigraph that is D, G, E. If you want to learn about this, again, Please have a look at the description box. You will find the videos related to these rules. This is again a single short vowel. So we have written DGE for the J sound. In charge, manage and change, we have put the J sound only with GE. GE and GI can also say the J sound. 
this is called the soft G rule and we also use uh, this rule to write letter J sound at the end of English words. So these were just a few examples. You will get so many words when you start reading, when you see books. There are lots and lots of words, but they follow this rule. This is for sure. Now let's come for the exceptions. What are the few exceptions that this rule have? Let's have a look at them. Now these are a few exceptions. If you have some names of food or some proper nouns that English has loaned from some other languages, like the word spaghetti or the word sushi, Sushi is a Japanese dish. Tofu, we have the U at the end. Again, Japanese dish. Iski is a Norwegian word. It's not, it's not an English word. But I and U are pure English words. And they are the rule breaker. This is a word beginning at I, ending at I. For U, this is an ancient word. One more word that you will find in the writing of Shakespeare that is T-H-O-U, thou, that is also used for the word you. So these are the few common exceptions. Otherwise, this rule works well. For V and J, I don't know if we have any exceptions. I have never found them. So if you come across with any word that is ending in V and J, please write it down in the comment box. If you have liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. I shall see you soon with something new. Take care. Bye for now. And don't forget to make it a great day. Bye.